Boys and girls, first of all, we meet twice a week for our understanding of coding. It's on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. And it's from 2 o'clock till 3 o'clock. Important that everyone be here at those times. Remember those coding blocks in Scratch are systems. In other words, they're all connected and the logic works. The computer program works because all the blocks are arranged. they organized properly. If they were in a different arrangement, they would not be able to work. And that's called logic. We put the YouTube videos up so those people can still watch it. If you are one of those people who can't be here every day, we know that we got talented individuals and we want to put those videos up for you guys to improve. Now remember the logic. Coding blocks work together in a system, but also remember that you're also learning to become systems thinkers. And that means that you start learning how things fit together, fit together like a car. A car can't work without the engine and the, the wheels and everything fitting together. So that's called systems thinking. How the different pieces work together. And look over here. If you go to explore, we can click on explore and you can see it gives all the projects. All the projects, Fortnite, Minecraft, there's a whole lot of projects. So if you type in Zulu Translator and you press enter, you can see there's one Zulu Translator on Scratch. Now when you open your project, you'll see here I've just opened Zulu Translator. Here's my instructions. Here it says Mr. Bradley, Matthew and Muhammad. If you want to play the game, you go there. And you can press it and it says, Aha, what do you want in Zulu? How are you doing? Question mark. And we press ticket. How are you doing? It should be added. Unjani. It says. And it says, how are you doing? And look over here. It's got the Zulu equivalent. And we're going to hide these list boxes so you don't see them. We don't want this to be seen. So we're going to move and we're going to change that. So I'm making it smaller. That's bigger, smaller. And we're going to change our list box. And we're going to use what's called a repeat loop as well. So those of you who are new to this Scratch programming, now watch carefully as we go through doing the whole thing again. And I'm going to go very fast. So this is called your stage. You can see it says stage. This is where you put your code. And this is the code blocks. So I'm going to put in a new sprite. I don't want Scratch Cat. So I'm going to go over there, choose a sprite, and I'm going to choose this person, Avery. So I'm going to put her in here. She's going to be telling me my Zulu, and I'm going to get rid of Scratch Cat. So I'm going to delete him. So try that. I want you to get a new sprite. Going back to what we did last time, we're going to choose a background. We'll go with a basketball background. So we've got Avery is our sprite, and we've got a background. Then we brought in a list. That's where we keep all our information, our translations. So I'm going to go make a list. So we go Zulu. I'm going very fast today. And then I'm going to make another list called English. English. And we got Zulu. Then we made which word we are, which translation we want to add in. So we had another, a variable which we brought in, which was called number. But we won't bring that in yet. We got Zulu, there's an English. Now remember the Zulu is going to hold the, the Zulu words and the English is going to hold the English words. Started off with an event, the click flag event. I'll make it a bit bigger. Click flag event, bring that in. And make sure you're st when I click on the flag, something's going to happen. I'm going to ask a question. We're going to go forever. So we're going to make a control, a forever loop. Look at this, forever loop. And we're going to ask a question in that forever loop. 
over here. We drag that in. What do you want translated in Zulu? Now, some of you have already got your program that we did last time, so you don't need to really catch up with everything I'm doing. Avery's going to say something. She's going to say the answer in Zulu. Looks. She's going to say, and I want to hold for a few seconds what she says. So we're going to say, what do you want translated in Zulu? She's going to translate the answer. Now, how do we find the translation extension? Here, yeah, this funny little ad extension. So Google's brought in that you can translate to various languages. So look, it says translate hello to French by default. So if I click on there, drag down Zulu. There it is. So now we're going to bring this in. We're going to translate something. And we all know whatever was typed in is going to be the answer. So if I, I had to show you guys... If I go click on the flag, she said, what do you want translated in Zulu? How are you? If I go, how are you? Then that sawabana is going to be put into the knowledge part, the lists, the English and the Zulu. Now we're going to put it into the lists. We will have to wait a few seconds after saying this. So we go smaller and I'm going to make that. Let's go five seconds. So we have time to think about what has been placed in there we're going to wait for five seconds and then we're going to move on to the next part of our code where it goes into the lists so now we're going to bring in the lists in our lists we go over here to variables and we've got our zulu and english lists zulu and english we're going to add one thing the zulu we're going to add to the english make that a bit bigger and we're going to add to the Zulu. Add to the Zulu. So we're going to add something to the English. And we're going to add something also to the Zulu. We know that the answer given is going to be added to the English. Now let's find the answer. That's going to be over here. We'll answer. Now this answer, what you see over here is whatever was typed in this box over here. The translation of house of answer will go into Zulu. So that will be, if I duplicate this, go in there. What do you want translated into Zulu? I should move this list out of the way because it's in the way. I'll just move her to the left and I'll move the, move the Zulu a little bit over and the English lists so I can see everything. What do you want translated? If I go house now, I think it'll go Ikaya or something like that. So... Indlu. So Indlu will go into the Zulu and House will go into the English. Pass the appropriate English. He has the add to the English. Answer will go to English. And the translation, if I copy that of answer, will go to the which list? To the Zulu. I want to just take that away. Look at, did you see how I deleted it? Now if I go like this, um, if I want to say big house, big house, big house, then I go like this. Indlu Nkulu. So big house, look where it will go. Indlu Nkulu is in the Zulu. And big house is in the English. Look over here. Indluvu. Indluvu is going to go in Zulu. And English, it will go elephant. A elephant. Our young lady here is learning more. It's called machine learning. We're kind of teaching it more and more. Now we go to the next thing we want to add in is, but we want her to teach us something. So we want Avery to say something to us. So now we're going to go bring in the click event. Events, when sprite is clicked. So that means when Avery, this girl is clicked, when the sprite is clicked, then she's going to teach us something. Then we're going to set a variable that's going to choose the number we want of the list. Indlu in Kulu is number one. Look over there, there's a one. There's a two for Indluvu. 
Number one, big house should be an elephant. So I made a bit of a spelling mistake. But you can see index is one and two. That when you click her, she's going to say one of the numbers. Make a variable. We're going to call it number in list. Now look how I'm writing it. Number in list. We're going to set the number in the list over here. I'll make it a bit bigger for you guys. Set the number in the list. Two. And how do we get the computer to choose a number? A random. So we're going to pick a random from one to how many are in that list. So I'll just make that smaller. Two. The length of the English list. So I'm going to go the length of the English list. Go to variables. Length. And we go down. Here's the lists. You just look for length. Because it's going to tell you how many. Look there. Length of English. What is the length of the Zulu list? Two. There's two items. So it's going to choose one of them. And then it's going to say. So we go back to looks. Then we're going to go say. You could choose think. Say. And then it's going to join. Join is going to bring two things together. Two strings. So it's going to say. And you'll understand that in a minute. I'm going to bring it over here. The She's going to be speaking English. The translation of, and then I'm going to put a space. And then she's going to say whatever is being translated. And then she's going to say the well, English translation. Item, go back to variables. The item. In other words, which of those is she going to say of the two? Item, I'm going to go with this one, item, and then we're going to choose the variable. What was the variable? Number in list. So the number in list is whatever variable we're looking at. Number in list, item number in list of English. Can you see this? In law, in kulo, in lovo, number two. Big house is number one. A elephant is number two. So now let's just add another one. Wild dog. Let's see what wild dog is in Zulu. Inja yasendle. If I say it wrong, please excuse me. When the sprite is clicked, then we're going to do it. When the sprite is clicked, then she's going to say it. Let's test it. When I click on her, the translation of an elephant. Is and then she's going to say it. Look over here. The translation of an elephant. The translation of big house. Every time I click on her. Translation of big house. Translation of elephant. So now let's go back. She's going to say that. And then she's going to say the Zulu. The Zulu word is going to be said now. So let's go to looks. And she's going to say. And we'll go over here. Say. And you guys already know. We carry on with the word over here, item, duplicate that. I'm going to bring in the join. Let's just take this away. We're going to put it over here, the Zulu word, the Zulu word translation is, and then we've got space, and now we're going to bring in the Zulu. And then it's going to go off Zulu. So she's going to say item, number in list of Zulu. Four seconds. I want to make this a little bit longer. You guys can play around with the time. So we'll test our code. And then we move on to hiding these lists. Okay, so she click on her. The translation of an elephant. And then it's a few seconds take place. The Zulu translation is in Lovo. Click on her again. The translation of a wild dog is, and we tell her, Inja Yasendle. Okay, so she's teaching us. Computer's teaching us. Now, now we want to make that these lists are unseen. We don't want to see them. So you go to variables. Now we're going into today's lesson. And over here it says English and Zulu. D check these. Look, they've gone. And we can even take that variable that it's also gone. 
So if you look at your game, you don't want to see two lists. You click on her, translation of an elephant. Then she's going to say, the translation, Zulu translation is in Dlovo. Okay, click on her again. Translation of a wild dog. And it's an Inja Yasendle. Now if I say, you are a, you are a happy person. So that's, now if I click on her, let's see, translation of you are a happier person. She teaching me is, Ungumuntu Ojabulayo. So what we've made is now a computer program that teaches us. Wow, that is very, very phenomenal. And we don't have those big lists in the way. The lists are out of the way now, which makes it a little bit better. Now we could have that this person, Avery, teaches us five facts. Now I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to introduce what's called a repeat of five of them. We're going to go back to our control. And we're going to go, we had a forever loop, but now we're going to bring in this repeat, which starts off by default with 10. I'm going to change that. She's going to teach us five things. And then I'm going to move this bit of code in. So she's going to, it's going to repeat it five times. She's going to teach us five facts. So let's do that. If we play our code, click on her, the translation of an elephant, and she's going to teach us now. Is in Dlovo. The Zulu translation is in Dlovo. Then we go. The translation of, look, she's telling us a second thing. Of translation of a wild dog is Inja Yasendle. She's going to go to the third one. Translation of an elephant. And that was in Dlovo. The translation, Zulu translation is in Dlovo. The translation of you are a happy person is coming up. Ungumuntu Ojabulayo. And the translation of big house is, and this should be the last one, in Dlu, in Kulu. And then she stops. There we go, she stopped. So every time you click on her, she'll teach you five things. Now that shows us, look, the five, the repeat five times, means she's teaching us five things. Now you can increase your knowledge of your sprite by adding more. I can teach her what is Rachel's favorite color. And I want to know what that's going to be in Zulu. So, color, and a question mark, and it'll go over there. Uyini umbula kwa Rachel o yitanduyo. Okay, so it needs a little bit more time on that one. And then it asks me, what do you want translated in Zulu? If I say green, green, uluklaza. Okay, green. So, if I click on here, if I want blue, let's see what blue is in Zulu. Blue. And I'm going to do a whole lot of colors. I'm going to go yellow. And let's see, upuzi. And then we're going to go another one. I want to go with pink. Pink. And we'll see what that is in Zulu. So I'm learning my colors. Pink. It's also pink in Zulu. So now we can ask her to teach us. The translation of big house. I remember in Dluvu something. In Dlu, in Kulu. Now she's going to teach us five things. Watch. Wild dog. Translation of wild dog. Uh, it is Inja Yasendle. Then she's going to. You are a happy person. It's coming up. Umgumuntu Ojabuluayo. None of the colors have come up. Rachel's favorite color, it's asking us. And that was Uyini Umbala Kayarai. And that one needs a bit more space. Translation of Wild Dog. Inja Yasendle. And then I think it's finished. There we go. It's taught us five things. Remember this repeat loop? It teaches you five different things. So we've used the repeat loop. Very creatively. I think I'd give it a little bit more time on the one, because when it was with Rachel and it gave us the Zulu, I couldn't read it. It was a bit too fast. So I'm going to go change that to six seconds. Boys and girls, so what you'll do is you'll feed in more to teach your sprites uh, more, 
Once you teach your sprite more, your sprite can teach you more. So imagine you want to learn all the different Zulu words for elef animals. So I could teach it monkey, monkey. I'm just going to go why, monkey. And you guys can learn Italian, German, monkey, rabbit, rabbit. And that's going to be uno guaya, or waja, fish. Let's see what fish is in Zulu. My Inflanzi. Inflanzi. All right, so now I can click on her and she's going to test teach me the translation of blue. It's blue. So if I click on her again, the Zulu translation is blue. Look what, she's going to teach me five facts. It goes to the next one. Translation of elephant. I forgot what that one was. In Lovu. This is a good way of learning Zulu. I can probably start learning Zulu. Rabbit in Unoguaja. Unoguaja. Thank you. This guy knows how to say it. Inoguaja. Translation of fish. I, I don't know what that one is. In Flanzi. In Flanzi. In Flanzi. Thanks, guys. I don't even know. Big house means. I know in um, I don't know what the in law in cool I think you guys have learned a lot. I'm also gonna Okay, so I'm gonna call this Zulu Translator 2. Now listen, when you go over here and you finish Scratch, you wanna share it. I'm gonna put it on Scratch so you guys can even take my code and you don't have to type it all in. But please study the code because you know if you just do computer program, you must understand the system of how the little blocks fit together to make the code work. Um, that's really important, the logic and seeing how systems work. So I'm going to call it Zulu. I'm sharing it. And I'm going to call it Zulu Translator 002. And I'm going to go try this program. It teaches you. It teaches you Zulu. And you guys can change it to make it your own words by Brian Evan Coding Group. So in other words, it's not Mr. Bradley that did this. You guys are also owners of this program now. So we're going to go Add to Studio. Feel welcome to open that project. Take the code. You can even change it. Make it better. And you can even teach yourself Italian, French. I know Mohammed might want to learn a bit of Arabic. And you guys can teach yourself a huge amount by just using this. I'm going to make that you can see the code because some of you might want to copy it. Thank you guys for listening. And we appreciate the fact that you're all here and you're learning. If you didn't understand what I was saying, please go to this on YouTube. Watch it. Go in your Scratch account. Open this project and play around. You'll get to understand it after a while.